Chapter Twenty Eight of True Stories of Wonderful Deeds Stories for Little Folk. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Ginger Cucolo. William Caxton. In old days, books were not printed as they are now, they were written by hand. This took a long time to do, so there were not many books, and they were so dear that only the rich could buy them. But after a time, some clever men made a machine, called a printing press, which could print letters. About that time, an Englishman named William Caxton lived in Holland and copied books for a great lady. He says his hand grew tired with writing, and his eyes became dim with much looking on white paper, so he learned how to print, and had a printing press made for himself, which he brought to England. He set it up in a little shop in London, and then he began to print books. He printed books of all sorts, tales and poetry and history and prayers and sermons. In the time which had formerly taken him to write one book, he could now print thousands. All sorts of people crowded to his shop to see Caxton's wonderful press. Sometimes the king went with his nobles. Many of them took written books with them, which they wished to have put into print. Some people asked Caxton to use in his books the most curious words he could find. Others wished him to print only old and homely words. Caxton liked best the common, simple words which men use daily in their speech. Caxton did a very good thing when he brought the printing press to England, for, after that, books became much cheaper, so that many people could buy them, and learning spread in the land. End of William Caxton Recording by Ginger Cucolope